Microsoft Teams continues to grow like wildfire, with over 115 million daily active users. 115 million! That's like half the population of the United States. Or almost the entire population of Japan. Wow. Well look, now that we're all back to working from home again, thanks coronavirus, businesses may be wondering whether they really need to keep their phone system in the office, or whether they should move over to Microsoft Teams for calling. But how much does it cost to run Microsoft Teams as a phone system? Let's have a look. In case you missed it, Microsoft Teams is fully able to run as your business telephone system. That means you can make and receive calls nationally and internationally. If you have your own phone numbers, you can move those over to Microsoft Teams. So we have a 0113 leads number. We can move that across to Microsoft Teams. Now, when you start to look into this, you'll quickly find that there are two options, Microsoft Calling Plans and Teams Direct Routing. Now, Microsoft Calling Plans are basically where you pay Microsoft as your phone system provider. They take care of all the calls, all the minutes, the voicemails. You get those nice menu systems like press one for this and two for that. And that's all done on a per user per month subscription basis. Now, although it's primarily aimed at per user, they do have plans to cover things like uh, common area phones that you might find in hallways or receptions, as well as plans for meeting rooms. Teams Direct Routing is slightly different. You still get all of that great phone system functionality of Microsoft Teams, but the actual calls and the charges for those calls are paid for by you. Now, you'll either do this through a Teams Direct Routing provider, or you might reuse your existing SIP provider in your office using a gateway. Oh, so which one do I choose? Well, that comes down to a couple of things. Firstly, if you have any specialist requirements, like you run a contact center or you need call recording for compliance purposes, then Teams Direct Routing uh, with one of those providers is definitely the right choice for now. You see, right now, Microsoft doesn't offer contact center or call recording with its own offering, so you need a third-party provider to add those features via Teams Direct Routing. And secondly, price. Let's have a look at how these two things stack up. With Microsoft Calling Plans, you need an Office 365 plan to start, and now we add the phone system license at six pounds, an optional audio conferencing license at three pounds, and this is needed for when you set up Teams meetings and you want people to join by phone. By default, everybody can join a Teams meeting online or through the Teams app, but if you want someone to call into that meeting, then you need this optional extra. And just a quick note, you only need it for the people who are going to set up those types of meetings. So you don't need it for everybody. Next, you need to add a calling plan, either national calling, which gives you 1200 minutes of local national and mobile calls for 12 pounds or international calling for 18 pounds. So look, that's a total of somewhere between 18 and 24 pounds per user per month. With Teams Direct Routing, you still need the Office 365 plan to start. And this might be a surprise, but you still need the phone system license at six pounds. And you still have the optional audio conferencing license for three pounds. Now this is because Microsoft are still providing the phone system here, and you can only dial into their meetings using Microsoft phone numbers. Next, you'll probably pay a direct routing integration fee. This comes from the provider, and depending on who you go with, we've seen this anywhere from free to around three pounds 20 per user per month. And then finally, you can actually buy some minutes to make and receive those phone calls. So the total here is somewhere between six and nine pounds per user per month. Compare that to the Microsoft offering of between 18 and 24 pounds, this could be a good option for you. Now, if this wasn't complicated enough, there are a couple of curveballs to throw in. If you're a small business user, 300 seats and under, you should be using the Microsoft 365 business plans in which case you can take advantage of the Microsoft 365 business voice offering. This actually bundles in phone system, audio conferencing, and 1200 local and national minutes for a fee of 12 pounds per user per month. That's really not too bad because it's very low overhead, there's no messy th integrations with third parties, and it's one simple system to manage, albeit with some compromises. Now, other things to consider. None of the stuff I've talked about today includes a handset or a headset to actually make or receive those calls. 
And I know we're very used to seeing like VoIP providers give you a handset in the bundle and still come out at around £12 per user per month. So Teams calling is still looking pretty pricey compared to those guys. Now, we should also mention that if you're a large business looking at Microsoft calling plans, there are cheaper plans that include 120 minutes or 240 minutes. So there is some flexibility. And remember when you buy these plans, each user isn't really limited to 120 minutes. Your overall business gets an aggregation of all the minute plans that you've bought. And so as long as you stay under that limit each month, there are no overage charges. Overage charges on the Microsoft calling plans are very expensive compared to traditional VoIP plans. So if your company is considering the move to Teams for voice telephony, I can wholeheartedly recommend it. It's been absolutely bulletproof for the clients that we've put it in for. You can pretty easily decide if you have a special use case like contact center or call recording, in which case direct routing is for you. If you don't need those, then Microsoft calling plans could be the answer if you buy the right licenses. Okay, so if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you'd like to hear more from us, why not hit that subscribe button? Well, thanks very much guys, and we will see you next time.